Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Color Silverless and it's been a while since we took a look at anything wine related. Let's fix this now, shall we? To be more precise, let's have a look at what has become known as the DXVK. How to set it up and how it performs when we throw something like The Witcher 3 at it. So grab a quick bite and join me on this quest. I will be splitting this video up in two separate sections. Firstly, let's have a talk and look about the status of The Witcher 3 running under Wine Staging version 3.4 with the DXVK patches. And then, later on, I will give you a brief tutorial on how to get it running should you wish to test it out yourself. And for the uninitiated, the DXVK is essentially a patch for Wine which makes the DirectX 11 calls from the application not being processed by the OpenGL renderer as per usual but by the Vulkan API. So without any further ado, let's begin. The Witcher 3 has always been that one game for me that a lot of Linux gamers will tell you that is the reason for keeping the Windows partition around. And I was always keeping an eye on the wine progress regarding it, even speculating on when it will finally be playable. My last speculation was for the second half of last year and to be honest it really wasn't that much off the mark. The wine development has really gone off the radar with the progress that they have made recently and as you can see when I finally returned to testing out The Witcher 3 on wine, I was pleasantly surprised that by now, finally, after those years of waiting, it is playable. The performance is not exactly one to one with the Windows version at the moment and there are some larger stutters when the new shaders are to be calculated. However, I think that I will continue my end game now on Linux and finally finish the game that has taken me a good few years to complete for various reasons. Whilst we're already on the topic of performance, keep in mind that I'm running this on a GTX 1070 with a resolution of 3440x1440 and with a lot of details set to high so I could easily hit the constant 60fps should I lower some of them. Hence a lot of videos online already show that the game is completely playable at over 60fps. But now you might ask, how to get it running yourself? Well there are a few tips and tricks I can share, so what do you need? Firstly, you're gonna need wine. I have chosen to go up with the latest wine staging release version 3.4. It really matters little if you get the git version or the pre-compiled binary. Wine versions, as per my testing with various versions and branches, makes little to no difference as even the mainline wine 3.4 has the necessary Vulkan fixes in them. Secondly, you are going to need the DXVK bundle with which to patch up your wine prefix. The way you acquire DXVK is up to you. You can either go and try to build it from the GitHub repository directly, get a stable release from the GitHub, or if you are lazy like me, then you can simply download the bundle directly from the AUR. It is named DXVK-bin and it contains the latest stable release from the GitHub. Please note that if you are not using Arch Linux or Manjaro or anything similar that has access to the AOR and the Arch build system, then you might need to either dig around to see whether someone has posted the package on their repositories or better yet just grab the pre-built release from the GitHub. After you have the DXVK, you are going to need a separate wine prefix for your Vulkan supported games. You could theoretically just patch up your existing prefixes, however, I like to keep them clean and separated. Once you have the prefix set up, go to Lunar G's website and download the latest Vulkan SDK for Windows. You're going to have to install it into the prefix you just created because as of now, Wine does not do this automatically yet, nor is it available via Wine Tricks. Just grab the installer, I'll leave the link in the description below, install it into your prefix and you're golden. Now after that, you will want to create a file called winevulcan.json into your wine prefixes windows folder. This file should contain what you see on the screen right now. It will also be in the video description with the original guide and the source for reference. Then you would want to open up the registry editor for your new wine prefix and add the following two keys with the values shown. Now once you do that, I promise we're on the very last steps now and it won't be much more you will want to patch up the whole wine prefix with the XVK. For Arch users, this is as simple as typing wine prefix equals whatever your prefix is, space, setup, underscore, DXVK64. 
This works once you have installed dxvk-bin package mentioned in the second step. If you grab the GitHub version, then you would use it pretty much the same. But instead of just typing setup underscore dxvk64, you will need to launch the shell script provided in the package with your wine prefix defined. And that is it. Next, you should just install something in the prefix that runs on DirectX 11, like the Witcher 3, and start it up. There is however one issue which I encountered with the Steam version of Witcher 3. It gave me a blank black screen and refused to start. As it turns out, it was due to a Steam overlay being enabled. So in case you do try the Steam version, please make sure that the Steam overlay has been disabled. You will save quite a few nerves there. Some additional things to note here also are the DXVK variables that you can set before launching the game. Now I have set up a script which I use to launch my DXVK Steam client which looks something like this. Here I define some directories, variables, etc. Feel free to copy this down and modify it to your liking. It is useful if you keep a lot of wine prefixes and separate versions of wine around. Regarding DXVK variables however, I will leave the link in the description where you could have a quick overview of them. And just for the sake of being politically correct here, the script you're seeing was originally provided by Expander. I have just modified it to my needs. And that is pretty much it for today. If you have any questions regarding this, I am no expert, but I will do my best to answer them for you. So leave them down in the comments below. If you like this and it was helpful for you, hey, why not spread the word and let others know how the progress of wine is coming along. But as for me, I would like to thank you very much for sticking around and I wish you a lovely day. Bye-bye.